How is it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at a beer I'm pretty stoked for. Um, a beer from a brewery I haven't reviewed anything for a while. Um, yeah, big fan of the brewery, but uh, yeah, just haven't reviewed anything from them in a bit. So I uh, figured pick this one up as uh, today's beer has pretty much the perfect marketing for me. This is uh, Dino Sour. Blackberry Sour Ale from Phillips Brewing and Malting Company out there in Victoria, BC. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, uh, my favorite uh, candies were Dino Sours, which I bought a bag of to pair with this beer. Whatever. <laughs> Costco, big old bag of Dino Sours, you know, I figured I'd have a couple with this guy. Um, but yeah. As for the beer, it is a uh, kettle sour ale, pretty sure. I'm gonna make sure of that. Yeah, pretty sure. Um, yeah, blackberries in this beer, and it's coming in at 4.2% alcohol by volume. Loving the artwork. And um, yeah, Phillips always has really good artwork. But uh, yeah, let's get a crack board and see how it is. Ooh, really nice color to this beer already. I'm liking the look at that. All right, nice and dark, reddish kind of color, really brilliant red, almost like fruit punch, that kind of thing going on. Looks like red dinosaurs. So uh, pretty stoked, uh, two, two-ish, two and a half fingers worth of a pinkish kind of head. It's a nice looking beer. Nice amount of carbonation on the body there. Let's get an aroma. Yeah, blackberries straight up. Like blackberry jam, tart, fresh from the garden, blackberries as well. Bit of like a lactic um, yogurty kind of thing you often get in um, Berliner Weisses and like kettle sour kind of beers. Smells awesome. Smells exactly how I want it to smell. So let's try it out. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's blackberries. If you like blackberries, you'll like this beer. There's a little bit of like a lemony kind of tang, a bit of a lactic kind of thing. Um, yeah, a bit of almost like a vanilla kind of flavor in the background as well, like a nice sweet kind of jammy kind of thing going on, but yeah, it tastes like blackberry jam, you know, um, nice sourness to it, a little bit of a sourness, not a lot of it, it'd be a great beer to show people who are new to craft beer, I mean, yeah, perfect balance between the, uh, uh, sorry, mine's drawing a blank. The, uh, sour vice beer or whatever they're using. Don't know if it's a wheat beer at all. I should probably read up on that before I do reviews. But, um, yeah, let's see here. Wheat and oats in this guy. But, yeah, it's nice mouthfeel. Um, it's not thin at all. Um, it is a little bit spritzy in the front, but then it fades into this like silky smooth background. Um, I gotta say this is a delightful beer. Um, I'm a, I'm glad I'm a sucker for marketing because, uh, yeah, I got to enjoy this one out of my, uh, yeah, simple brain, you know? Um, yeah, it tastes like blackberries, so there, there you go. I mean, this is exactly what you want in a blackberry sour beer, um. As a rating on the spear. Straight up 90. There you go. Yeah. Tastes like blackberries. So for the thousandth time, if you like blackberries, uh, pick up the spear. Uh, see what you think of it. And I'm going to go enjoy this with probably some Big Bang Theory and uh, Dino Sour Candies. So, yeah. Gonna have a good night. Y'all have a good night as well. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.